Hello and welcome to this MAMP Pro screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about transferring your site over to a host provider. Uh, I'm going to be using Mac OS 10 Yosemite and MAMP Pro 3.2.1. Uh, I'm not going to be going into uh, exact details for a particular host provider. I'm just going to point out um, what you need to do, uh, what files you have to move over, what to look for, and how to set things up. So, okay, um, as you can see here, I have a, I'm going to be using a WordPress site uh, that's pretty popular that I made in uh, using my extras here in MAMP Pro, and it's running well here on uh, my local Mac. I haven't, um, this is just a, a blank WordPress site, but that doesn't matter. Um, I haven't made any changes to it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is move your host files over. Uh, the host files located in your document root. So I have a WordPress host here. Um, my, it says here my document root is websites WP. So what I want to do is move all of my uh, files in the WP folder. I want to get an FTP client and FTP them over. Um, you can use, I have here Cyberduck or FileZilla. There are many FTP clients out there that you can choose from. Just do a search on FTP client. You'll find plenty of options and find one that you like. Uh, of course, you do have to set up an account uh, with a host provider, get a username and password, FTP username, password to be able to FTP stuff over. And once you do that, uh, what you want to do is an FTP over your entire um, here, your entire directory, um, every file in uh, your, your uh, document root. Few things to look out for. I have enabled uh, hidden files in my finder, and I can see in .ht access file here that I have. Um, by default, WordPress isn't going to have one, but if you change your link style, it will create uh, a .ht access file. So you may or may not have one, but if you do have one, make sure you uh, you're able to view hidden files, and make sure when you FTP it. Your files over that that ht access file comes across um, gets ftp'd over if it doesn't it will cause problems on your live site okay one last thing with the host files if you uh, i made my wordpress site on port 80 this is pertains only to wordpress but wordpress is very sensitive about ports um, if you made your site on port 8888, which is the default map pro port, and you just transfer things over, you're gonna have problems. Um, what you need to do locally is get everything switched to port 80 uh, locally and get things running. What you're gonna need is a port a WordPress port migration tool. There are, uh, you just have to look that up on, on wordpress.org and they'll have port migration tools, or you can do this manually uh, switching over to port 80. So get things up and running on port 80 uh, on your local machine, uh, check things out. If everything's good, then FTP, start FTP and start your, um, the process of uh, upload, uploading your site to a host provider. Okay, so the second step of uh, getting your website over to a host provider is moving over your database files. Uh, what we want to do to do that is, uh, well, every content management system is going to come with a database, so you're going to have to move it over to um, get things running properly on your live site. So uh, what you want to do is go to your web start button here and go to your tools menu, PHP my admin. This may look a little different depending on uh, what version of PHP my admin you have, but generally uh, there are uh, tabs up here and you want to go to the export tab. And what we want to do is uh, just uh, use the quick uh, export method, make sure your, uh, your format is SQL statements. And uh, you may, you have to check, you might want to check with your content management system homepage. They might have you do some custom stuff down here uh, for their exports and imports, but you have to check. That's on a, a different for every content management system. But with WordPress, we can just use the quick option here 
and just uh, press go and it's just going to do an SQL dump and uh, what we want to do is just save this and uh, into a file um, I use text wrangler because it doesn't reformat anything uh, there's other options out there but I, I use text wrangler so I just want to uh, copy it into uh, this text wrangler file and save it and I'm just gonna put it in my uh, in my uh, websites directory uh, let's call it my WPDB I'm going to give it an extension of SQL I guess oops that is the standard name uh, you can call it any extension you want but I guess for um, so you know what it is uh, we'll give uh, I'll give it the uh, SQL uh, extension name so to save that and once that is saved um, uh, it has to be uh, transferred over via FTP so go back to your FTP uh, uh, client and FTP this file over and uh, that is uh, step two uh, we're done exporting the database and transferring it over to our host provider okay so the last step you have to do is in getting your site working live is um, you have to re-import the database that you just exported so there's an import tab here you have to log into your uh, host provider and they would uh, will surely have PHP my admin and uh, what you want to do is import the file that you just uh, exported so what you need to do is just go in and uh, create a new database we'll call it WP2 create it and what I want to do is import my file that I created wpdb.sql so in my case I'm just creating a mirror image of uh, well on, on my local machine of what I just made um, and just press um, what I want to do is choose um, the uh, I chose my file um, and format as uh, SQL and these are just the this may look a little different on newer version of PHP my admin but basically if you just go with the basic settings you should be fine and um, you will import a database and then everything will be imported okay so if this in theory were on my uh, host provider then I could um, go to uh, I could type in my website and it would work so let's let's see um, if it works here and no it doesn't okay so um, what we want to what you have to um, change uh, one last thing you have to change is of course if you hadn't if you just used the default settings in man pro um, you had a root username for your uh, database MySQL database and you had a root um, password so in the case of uh, WordPress you need to go in and change this so in WordPress you do it in the WP config file and what I did is I only changed the password you're gonna have to change your username and password but I changed mine to blah and if all things uh, are working here my WordPress host comes up again so that's one thing you have to uh, have to change and uh, once you do that your host should be up and running and that of course will be different for other um, host um, different content management systems and so that's going to conclude getting your site live from uh, a local machine on MAMP Pro